What is up, managers? Football Galaxy here with an all new series coming in into my Football Galaxy channel. And oh, there we go! It's the first goal of today's match. Not, no, obviously not for mine. But pretty much this new series is pretty darn simple, actually. It's just matches throughout the whole season for Angel Los Angeles in the new season of Top 11. And this is the first league match of the new season. And this is the first season of 2019 in the game. So that's pretty much it. The whole series is going to be, going to be uh, league matches, maybe a couple of Champions League or Cup matches involved. But it's pretty much the season, the inter-LA season. And in the beginning of 2019 in Top 11. So it is the first match of the league, like I said, the first league match. And so far we're losing 1-0. This is not what we wanted. And we definitely need a more hard attacking, if you ask me. Alright. Nice play here. This is good. This is good. The question is, can we keep it? Oh, offside. Dang it. And because it is a new season in top 11, we do have new kits. I'll show you guys after the match. Come on, fellas. We can do this. We have to at least tie things up. So far in the recent two seasons... I have not, my club has not been able to win the first league match. And I really hope that I can at least win this one. I just hope my team can tie things up soon. So far, the other club, Bat Avia FC. They have more possession of the ball than, than my club. And that's intuition. It's the two of them. And the next one will be a defend a central defender, hopefully. I think. Uh, we definitely need an attacking edge. That's no doubt about it. Let's see how we will do in the second half. Alright, here we go. So, two substitutions for Inter Los Angeles. Marcelo. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Slatan Ibrahimovic ties things up for Inter LA. And it is tied 1 1. We finally came back from the game. The question is, though, can we make a comeback and win it with at least a 2 1 score? We're still pretty much lots of. A couple, a couple of we still have time. So I'm trying to say that we still have time. The thing is that we got to use that time to our advantage, break the tie, and take the lead. Which so far we haven't been able to, but we still do have time. And I will be making my substitution. I know Roberto Carlos is not exactly the exact position but neither does Kyle Walker and we just broke the tie it was a goal by Roman Alessandrini we're 2-1 oh that's awesome all right Walker is coming in for Sp oh, uh, Spencer Owen Yerlin Alessandrini 
Offside trap, nice. We do have act. We have. We do have that activated. Offside trap. And so far, we are using that for the advantage. So. And so far, so good. Two one score. We're approaching the 80th minute. But these guys can't tie things up. We are. I hope that my defense can avoid them from tying. Because I don't want to lose the first match of the season. All right, the new assistant, uh, assistant manager says, looking good. Let's stay on the offense and grab a few more goals. That is what I tend to do, and hopefully what my players also want to do. Here comes Ibrahimovic. This is a nice pass. Ibra. Oh, yes, Ibrahimovic. Oh, yeah, baby. We are totally going to win this match, hopefully. But we, we've totally got position back. Oh yeah, comeback has been completed. Here comes Ibrahimovic with a free kick. Ibra, that was just wide, super close. But yes, guys, we're back in the game. We're winning 3-1. Great comeback. We might win this match. Odds are that we will. But in the world of football, anything can happen. Here comes a corner kick. Taken away. 83rd minute, folks. 3 1 so far in the ratings. Marcelo is winning the ratings by an eight point, with an 8.3 rating of the match. Good job. Keep focusing on short passes to maintain control in the midfield. So far, that has been our best play. Keep possession. 87th minute, really close in ending. This match is about to end, ladies and gentlemen. Walker. Ibrahimovic. Oh, Chicharito just wide. That was close, and the match is yet to end. Referees yet to blow the whistle. There you go. No more time left. End of the match, folks. Yeah. Inter LA. After two seasons of never winning the first match of the season, we finally won. The match of the season. Oh, yeah. And tomorrow, it's going to be the Champions League match. 3.39 in the morning. Holy cow, I will not be able to do that. <laughs> so that will be our first match of the Champions League, to be honest. But as of so far, a 3-1 win. Awesome. So far, that's the only match in the whole league of the season. So as of right now, I'm in first place, but as soon as the other rest of the teams play, it will be a different story. So this is the new league because new season. I am at league level 7, so this is my 7th season with Entry Los Angeles. And this season, hopefully, I plan to make it better because... Let me turn on the volume a little bit. Because last season, I was so close in winning the Triple Crown... Unfortunately, it didn't happen last season. I won the league. I won the cup for the first time in intro history. But in the, as for the Champions League, I won third place. And that's what sucked a lot. So this season, I do plan to win the Triple Crown. In, in, for those who do not know what the Triple Crown means, it, it means winning the league, the Champions League, and the cup. All three in one season. So I hope that's my main goal for this new season. For season seven, and hopefully it can be accomplished. Last uh, in season five, I didn't win the cup. I won the quarterfinals, which was I, which was I believe the furthest I've ever gone at that time. I won third place again in the Champions League, and then I won second place in the league. Season four, I I well I lost round of thirty two at the cup. I won the Super League for the first time. This that was the very first and only so far Super League I've won, and I won third place in the league. In season three. I pretty much won the league, and that was the very first time I won the league with Inter LA, because with season one and two, those were bad seasons for me. For one thing, I I was in a different club with the LA Aztecs. I won seventh seventh place in season one. In the second season, 
hardly any different. Sixth place. But then season three was incredible for me. The beginning of a new era with the new club intro Los Angeles was born. And you can see all the trophies I've won so far since then. So this season, I hope that would be even better and my best one yet. And as for the league, I do have an interesting opponent that I hope I can enjoy a rivalry with. Boom, check it out. LAFC. This club is within the league for this season for me in top 11. So this will be interesting to see what rivalry will become. And I have already checked it. And the very first encounter I will have with this new opponent, LAFC, will be on January 25th at 3.36 p.m. I believe it's going to be an away game for Inter LA and a home game for LAFC. But I just know, wait, I think I passed it. The 2025th, was it? Yeah, we go. On January 25th at 3.36 p.m., LAFC hosting Inter Los Angeles. That will be an interesting game, and I will be recording that for, you know, to upload into the new series. So keep in mind that some of the matches I will not be able to record because either one, I'm going to be busy, or two, I won't be available, so I won't be able to record that match, you know, to upload for the, for the series. But... In the next match that may follow after that one, and if I do have time to record that, I will record it. And once I'm done with that, I will, I will uh, give the heads up as what was the result of the other one. So, for example, the new, uh, the next league, the next, the next league, the next match for Inter LA will be the Champions League tomorrow, at 3:39 a.m. Obviously, I will be sleeping, so I will obviously not be able to record that match but the next one that will follow after that will be uh will be a cup match at 11 40 p.m and no oh, i don't think i'll be able to record that match either well i don't know i'll see but no not really because it's almost close to midnight i'll see if i'll do a video tomorrow to give you guys what happened but mostly this series is based on the league, on like on the league matches, so now nah, I'll just wait until tomorrow. Tomorrow at 12.01 p.m. I also won't be able to do it. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then after that, 8.50. Okay. So tomorrow at 8.50 p.m. I'll record the next video of the series of which I will be uh, I will be reviewing the previous matches against Flow FC in the Champions League, a cup match between Valley Yev FC, and then the previous league match against Kosovo FC. That would be a home game. So let's hope we can win the second league match of the season. So next video will be at 8.50, uh, around 8.50 p.m., maybe a little bit, a few minutes more, uh, a few minutes more uh, sooner than that. Of course, it does depend on, like, you know, uploading the video, so it will obviously be more late than 8.50 p.m., but around that time, I will be I will record the next video. So stay tuned for tomorrow for the next video of the of the new Inter LA Top Eleven season series. It's gonna be pretty cool. And what I was gonna show you, because as you can see, that I already have seven seasons in Top Eleven so far. Every I'm pr I pretty much do what every club does with a new when a new season begins. Every time there's a new season. I make sure that my club do have new kits. So this one, so f this one right here, is the very first Inter Los Angeles kit, and this is the very first. Oh yeah, this is away. This is the way. The black one was the, was the home. Then the then that one was repl was replaced by this one. I bought this one at the store because I thought it looked pretty cool. So then after another season, it was just the premium the premium jersey with the white with the red slash right with the red sash right there. Then for season two, oh well, okay, well you know for the next season, after that it was this one, with the halves black and red. Then the away kit is yellow and black. Then I kind of went once again with the same design, but more like you know zigzaggy, half zigzag design for the home. Same design for the away. Only this time would be yellow and red. I chose yellow and red because those are the two colors of the three. That are in the LA flag, so I thought that would look pretty cool. And plus, it's re it's in the order from left to right. It's green, yellow, and red, and they are divided by zigzag lines. So, I chose yellow and red for the away kit. So this is pretty much based on the LA flag. So I thought this this would be a pretty cool kit. The next season, 
which was recently actually last season where I just went with the plain black jersey with the red outline and the color and then I went back to the yellow and red colors red as the as the whole as the main color and then yellow for the color then when Christmas came by I bought the premium jersey the top 11 guys uh, pretty much give on the store and for this new season new kit design with a cool look triangle-ish thing I don't know what you call it on top of the jersey and the away kit we're going back to the white and red colors from the original first season of Intro Los Angeles with the white and red colors like I said with the new design and it looks pretty cool so there you go a recap of Intro Los Angeles so far with the seasons this was my first logo for those who, who have seen my my fir, uh, the first few top 11 videos I did in, in, the, in my channel this was the first Intro LA logo followed by this one the Halloween logo that Top 11 provided. And the reason why I, I kind of kept with this was because it pretty much kept what my whole Intro Los Angeles theme was. Black, red, white, and gold. So I kind of kept with that. Then I bought this one at the store. And so far this is the current Intro LA logo for Intro Los Angeles and Top 11. I kind of I kind of used this one a little bit only for a few games though. The Christmas logo that Top 11 also provided along with the Christmas kits. There you have it, the cl uh, kit history so far of top 11, and I guess now now that I'm here, let me show you my squad, there you go, Alex Hunter, Ibrahimovic, Efrain Alvarez, Roman Alessandrini, Fernandinho, Chucky Lozano, Marcelo, Spencer Owen, Hector Moreno, Johnny Yedlin, Claudio Bravo, Lexi Sanchez, who I'll be actually soon selling him, Kyle Walker, Chicharito Hernandez, Fer uh, Fer uh, Fernandinho, wait, no, the other one was Ferdinand, this guy is Fernandinho, Carlos, Howard, Coutinho, then for reserves, Flynn, new player, Kachi, and Pai. That is my squad. And I will have to train them pretty soon for the next match, which will be, you know, toward, 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 during night time. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for tomorrow for the next video of the Top 11 Inter LA Series. Again, thank you guys for watching, and have yourselves a great Galaxy Night.